Is doing wholesale candles even worth it anymore? Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today we're gonna to talk about a topic that I've been thinking about for the last couple months and definitely a topic that has come up quite a bit in the Facebook group. And that of course is one of two things, rising costs which then leads to higher wholesale. So if you've been making candles for a little bit or even if you're new to the candle industry, uh, the prices for everything, if you haven't seen it, have definitely gone way up over the last couple years. From waxes to oils to wicks to vessels, everything has really shot through the roof, including shipping, which of course then makes your base candle cost higher, which of course leads to uh, trying to get wholesale clients at a much higher cost than it used to be even two, three years ago. And before I get into this video too far, I definitely wanna say that this is not a hard set fast rule for everybody doing wholesale. Uh, different candle makers out there make different candles, which of course results in much different costs uh, from a couple dollars a candle to 10, 15, 20 dollars a candle. But no matter what kind of candle you make, the costs have definitely shot up no matter what you're doing. And that's what I wanna talk about today and kind of what my thoughts are are in approaching new wholesale clients, especially if your wholesale or especially if your base cost candle has really gone up. So for example, somebody making candles with the jelly jar, you can still get away relatively cheap with that one just because the jars are still around 25 to 50 cents per vessel, which really isn't that bad. And if you're still using uh, your normal wicks, uh, some lesser expensive waxes and definitely some lesser expensive oils, you can still get away with relatively low wholesale costs. So the answer for somebody like that is definitely yes, it's still worth it. It's once you get into the other stuff and start getting into some of the newer waxes, uh, or honestly, almost <laughs> almost all of them at this point, have definitely shot up, and a lot of new oils are on the market. And of course, there are some more kind of mid-level to luxury vessels and oils, which definitely raise your prices quite a bit. And if you do fall into this category where you're making candles that have definitely jumped up way more in price than they used to be a couple years ago, then this video is definitely for you. And, it's, and that's why I wanted to make this video just to give some tips, ideas, and kind of uh, my idea about where I'm heading with wholesale costs for candles like that. So you definitely have to think about where you're going as far as wholesale is concerned. And then on top of that, once you start figuring in different oils, because oils, uh, depending on where you get them, have definitely shot through the roof. And that's gonna be a huge cost for any candle that you're making, no matter what jar, what wick, uh, or even what wax you're using. Sometimes oil prices can double the cost of your base candle. So let me take a step back for a second and talk about wholesale. For anybody that hasn't been watching the channel for a little bit or a new candle maker, wholesale is basically your cost, the cost of your candle, what it costs you to make that candle uh, from the wax, the shipping, whatever it costs you money-wise to put into that one candle, wholesale is typically double that. So if it costs you $5 to make a candle, you would sell it wholesale for $10. And then of course, whoever buys that candle from you wholesale is gonna turn around and double that for retail. So a candle that costs you $5, wholesale is gonna be $10 and retail is gonna be $20. Now, of course, that's not a hard set rule. You don't have to follow that. You can set it whatever you want to, and I've made plenty of videos in this one talking about this. If you're in an area that can get a higher price for that candle, if you can sell that same $20 candle for $30 or $40, and there are areas that do that, definitely go for it. And if you're in a rural area where people just don't buy $50 candles, you might have to lower that down to $15. So any of the metrics that I'm talking about here, you definitely take with a grain of salt. The one thing that you're not going to take with a grain of salt is if you're using expensive vessels, expensive oils, and your base cost for a candle, which is up around $15, which is extremely high unless you're selling to a luxury market. And again, that wouldn't be an outrageous cost if you're in an area that absolutely takes that kind of a candle. Uh, but what's happening now is you're seeing a lot more basic candles, real middle of the road candles where you're seeing cost really jump up like that, which of course means if it costs you $15 to make a candle, wholesale would be $30 and retail would be $60, which is absolutely insane, especially if you're in an area where you just aren't gonna get that many customers buying a $60 candle. And that's where I kind of wanted to make this video today to talk about wholesale is is it really worth it? Is it worth it for you to spend $15 making a candle and sell it for $30 knowing that you may not be able to sell it retail for $60? And again, this is gonna be different for everyone. And the thing I've kind of come up with and the thing I've been telling people in the comments down below and in the Facebook group, anybody that messages me, is if you do have a candle where your costs are jumping way up, uh, for me on a candle like that, and I do have some candles that uh, have definitely jumped up and I put them in more of a higher end 
and luxury market. With those particular candles, I have stopped selling them wholesale just because it's way too much for me to ask uh, a retailer for $30 on a $15 candle and then hope that they can sell it for 60. You're just not gonna find many customers or many uh, wholesale clients to actually pay that. So for some of those higher end candles, and this is what I would suggest to anybody out there, is it might be time to kind of hold off on some of those wholesale orders and just move them straight to retail. If it costs you $15 to make that candle, it, you could probably easily sell that for 30 to 40. Taking the profit from a wholesale client, you're basically just gonna take that profit directly from a customer. And then at some point, hopefully prices will start to level out. Uh, I don't know that a lot of this stuff will eventually come down. I'm hoping it does because there are still a lot of waxes, a lot of oils that have really shot through the roof that uh, some of them I have actually stopped buying. And again, like I said, take a lot of this, a lot of these metrics with a grain of salt. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who have absolutely no issues selling uh, at a higher price to a wholesale client and going to a retail client. So definitely do that if you're in the area. Uh, but if you are struggling with wholesale, this is definitely a way to kind of sidestep that a little bit. Uh, and you're still kind of keeping some of the profits for yourself and possibly a little bit more. Like I said, if it costs you $15 to make that candle and you can sell it for more than 30, which would be your wholesale cost, that's a huge bonus to you, especially now when the economy is a little bit down. So I hope that makes sense. I hope it gives a little bit of, uh, it kind of eases some pressure for some people that are out there asking. Like I said, I got a lot of comments on this one. So, so this video is basically just some of my thoughts in the way I go about handling these things. Uh, if you are any different and you're handling a different way, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let others down there know what you're doing in this situation. And of course, if I glossed over or missed anything in the video, again, please let me know in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next video.